Hey everybody, Scott here. In this video I want to show you a couple different ways to resize images to make them smaller size for uploading to the web. When we upload pictures to the web, usually we don't need them as big as our cameras take them. And so resizing them can make it so that it takes uh, less time to upload them and they take less space on our web servers. So for example I've got uh, one picture right here. Uh, it's a great looking picture. It's for some bread that I cooked in my Dutch oven uh, but it is 5184 pixels by 3456 and a full 6.19 megabytes. And this next one is just a little bit smaller than that as you can see down here. So I want to show you two different programs that are both free to allow you to easily resize the pictures. The first one is called GIMP and you can get that at GIMP.org. It's open source, uh, pro an open source program and is available for Mac, Windows and for Linux. And this has a lot of features with it. It's my program that I use, it's the, not, I didn't write it, but it's the program that I use to do photo editing. It's somewhat like Photoshop, uh, but uh, probably doesn't have as many bells and whistles, but it's a very powerful. But you can always also do very simple things with it as well. So to do that, I'm resizing an image. I'm going to go to File and then Open, and I'm going to open this first image that I showed you. So you click on it and then click Open. It brings it into the window here. And then to resize it, I simply go to Image and Scale Image. And then you want this little link thing to be connected. That means that if I change the width, it will change the height by an amount to keep the proportions the same. If you don't do that, you'll have to change them both uh, separately and figure out what that proportion would be. So I'm going to change this to 600 which is plenty big enough for what we need to do. I hit tab and you can see that this has been changed to 400 pixels and then I hit scale. That's as simple as that. If I want to see it now as the size that it would be I go to view and 1 colon 1 which says I'm looking at it at the full size and there it is. So now to export this new one, I just hit File Export, and I'm just going to change the name of this to Low Res, and maybe I'll change the first part of that name to Dutch Oven Bread, and then I hit Export. It's going to come up and ask you about the quality. We'll leave it at 100, or change to 100 if it isn't, and then hit Export. And now when I look here at this picture that's in the same directory you can see that it's 600 by 400 and it's only 248k as opposed to 6.19 megabytes okay really easy to do the other program I want to show you is called Shrinkomatic, and I love this one. Uh, what's neat about this one is that you can, if you have a whole bunch of pictures you want to do some things to, like resize them, you can uh, do it in batch mode, which means you don't have to bring them up one by one and do it. So for this one, uh, and I'll have the, the link to this on the video, it should be showing right now, but you can set size limits for the, the picture, and I'm going to set a max width of 600 and a max height of 600, and that means that no side of any picture that I have that this program outputs will be bigger than 600 on any side. You can actually rotate if you need to rotate a bunch. Um, in this case, it tells you how do I want to name the the new file, and I'm going to name use the same name that it had before, and then put a dash low res on it. You can do other things with it, uh, and you can say where you want it to be output. I'm going to leave it blank, which will output it in the same folder. But if you wanted to go to different folders, you could do that. And then there's a whole bunch of other things here too. If you wanted what you want to do with the quality of the JPEG. And if you want to put a watermark on it, it has a whole bunch of things you can do. And it's really simple to do this. Once you have it set up, all you do is drag the picture right there, and it does it. And I'm going to do the other one as well and show you how simple that is. So now you can see that I have both of these, image 3187-LowRes, and it is 307K, so it's slightly different uh, size than, than the other uh, one that we did. And then this one here is is also you see 600 by 450 and 299k, both very easy ways to get pictures resized. And some uh, platforms like Flickr might restrict how much you can upload in a single day or a single week. 
and so if you're running into issues like that then resizing your pictures is the way to go so hope you enjoy that hope that's helpful for you thanks